From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of Lake of Blood. Natisa, the Punya messenger, had been to Tarzan's seacoast cabin. He had looked for the lord of the jungle in the ape country. He had searched the rolling hills where the elephants made their home. But nowhere was Tarzan to be found. Now, near exhaustion, he climbed the steep slopes of Mount Kayatenko, calling Tarzan's name, hoping that some miracle might carry his voice to the only man who could help in this time of great trouble and sorrow. Tarzan! Tarzan! It's Tarzan! 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 Natisa! Natisa, what are you doing in this part of the jungle? Uh, Natisa, hunt Tarzan. All over he look. Oh, what is wrong? Why do you search for me? Targo. Targo. Something is wrong with my small friend? He's sick? Not sick. He's lost. Lost? Two days ago, many cranes fly over Punya village. Yes? Targo asked Mama Daganya where they go. She not know. He asked chief warriors of tribe. Their answer is not clear enough for Targo. Go on, go on. We not sure what happened. But after second flock cranes pass over village, Torgo gone. We look, not find anywhere. Oh, it's his everlasting curiosity. He followed the migration of the cranes, huh? What kind were they? Kind? Uh, Ghani. Were they the common type, the wattled crane, or the crown variety? Uh, a common. Oh, they winter in the northern regions. Well, it's in that direction that we must travel. We find Torgo? If the beasts of the jungle have not found him before us... Torgo had already been away from home for two days. The chances of finding him alive were slim. But Tarzan would not rest until he had either found the native boy or learned his fate. Tarzan's first inclination was to leave the exhausted Natisa, take to the upper level, and speed to the northern country as quickly as he could. But reason prevailed upon him to adjust his speed to that of Natisa. Once the winter home of the Cranes was reached, two men could circle a district more easily than one. I think we're getting to the edge of the crane country, Natisa. Maybe Torgo lose trail of crane, though. Maybe he not here. Yes, but you and the Punya warriors searched almost everywhere else. It's our only hope. It's call of crane. Yes. And look, on the ground beneath that wild pineapple tree. It's small bow of Torgo. He's been here. And not too long ago, for no leaves cover it. Torgo! Torgo! He not answer. Natisa... Natisa, we'll take an area of a mile the first time. You, you circle to the west from here, and I'll circle to the east. We'll meet back here. If we're not successful, and then we'll mark out another circle. Now, don't forget, just a mile. Go no further, and then... Natisa, why aren't you starting? Natisa, not go west from here. Is Mugilo. Taboo? I know of no taboos in this district. West here is Kiwanavisi. The Lake of Blood? Never heard of such a lake. Tarzan not know this land. All near here no Kiwa Navisi. Natisa not go west. All right, you circle east. I shall travel west. West is Kiwa Navisi. It's home evil demons. Shore washed with dead butterflies. Fish not live in water. No man ever come back from water that is red. A Kiwa Navisi much Mugilo. Oh, taboos and lakes of blood. Sometimes my native brothers make me angry. Torgo's life is at stake. I shall waste no further time with your superstitions. Tarzan is not afraid of the lake of blood. In just a moment, we shall return to our exciting story.
Hour followed hour, and although Tarzan and Atisa covered a wide area, in circles of ever-increasing circumference, they found no further trace of the native boy Tarzan loved almost like a son. Now Tarzan and Atisa had met again, and they moved together through the tangled jungle, their hearts heavy with sorrow. There is no use. Torgo not here. If only the wind would stir, I, I might catch his scent. Air still like death. I've called his name until my throat aches. If he were alive and had heard me, he would have answered. Maybe Tarzan should make cry of bull ape. Travels many miles. Yes, that's true. My call can be heard far beyond the reaches of my normal voice. Well, it's worth a try. He's no answer. I think... I heard a faint voice. Natisa not hear anything? I did not hear much, Natisa, but I could swear I heard something. From where? From the district that you consider taboo. Are you coming with me, Natisa? Nadia, Natisa come part way with you, but no go near Lake of Blood. Targo! Targo! Targo, help us, Tarzan. It's Targo. We come, Targo. Tarzan, me and trap under big tree. <sighs> At least you're alive. Oh, he's caught in strong trap. Now force the jaws of the trap open, and he's saying you pull him out. Gently. Uh, 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 Targo, hungry. Thirsty. And you have a bad bruise on that leg. He is from Matigo. Leg hurt. Uh, the leg does need attention. You need food and water. Natisa, is there a native village near here? Village of Yaluma. People near here. Is maybe ten miles. Ten miles? Nearer is trading post of white man, old Buana Morgan. Morgan? Yes, yes, I've heard good things of him. His place close by. Well, then we'll go there. I would hunt for food, but I haven't seen a track or caught the scent of an animal for many hours. No animals here. Two days, Torgo, in trap. Not hear or see any animals. No animals. That's most strange. Lan Mugilo, even for animals, cause lake of blood. I want you to say no more about that, particularly in front of Torgo. I won't have you filling his head with your superstitions. Matisa, right. Animals not here because Mugilo. It's too bad the land is not also taboo to the birds. Did you find the cranes you followed? The deal, Torgo see cranes, other large birds... But now Torgo's sorry he followed Yes, him. you're sorry at the moment because you're hungry and sore. Torgo, someday your curiosity is going to get you into real trouble. Ahead is store of Buono Morgan. A store? Nothing more than an old thatched hut. His store and home of old man. He friend to natives. Here, Natisa, you you carry Torgo for a minute. Even with friends, it's well to be on guard. Wait here. Not worry about old Buona Morgan. Well, well, a visitor. A customer, perhaps. I'm afraid we're not customers. We come seeking help. Well, if you need help, old Chris Morgan's your man. Forty years I've spent right in this same tiny patch of ground, and I've never denied anyone help yet. People do speak well of you, Mr. Morgan. Old Chris Morgan's a friend to all, black and white, rich and poor. Good, because that small boy over there has an injured leg and an empty stomach. Well, why didn't you say so right away? Bring the boy inside, put him on my cot. I'll go in the back and rustle some grub and find some bandages, just to make yourselves at home. May I help you? No, no, I'm a fussy old bachelor. Won't let anyone in my kitchen. <laughs> Natisa, bring Torgo over here. Natio Tarzan, you carry him inside? Please. Mr. Morgan said to place him on his cot. Torgo, hungry! You'll have some food in just a minute now. Buona Morgan make food. He's a good man, Tarzan. No? He is most kind. But tell me, Natisa, how can he make a living in this deserted spot? Many tribes come here, trade hides, ivory, other things with Buona Morgan. He go city once a year, sells hides, ivory, bring back things natives need. It sounds like a scant livelihood. He sell much salt. Tar 
go hungry. I think I hear your supper approaching now. Here you are, Sadie. Some nice broth, some smoked meat, and some tin biscuits. <laughs> that ought to hold you for a bit. I think it will. Torgo, where are your manners? The Santa Buona, Morgan. That's better. <laughs> I'll see if I can dig up some antiseptic and bandages to fix up that leg, and then I'll rush a little grub for the rest of us. Oh, no, no, Tisa and I can fend for our own food. We would not deprive you of your stores. Nonsense. I'm glad to have company. Never did like eating alone. Oh, pardon me a minute. Well, well, it is my old friend from the Yaluma tribe. Who inside? Oh, just a young native boy who's been hurt and a couple of men who brought him. Come in, come in. I, uh, I'm afraid I didn't ask your names. I am Tarzan. This is Natisa. The boy is Torgo. They are of the Punya tribe. Oh, the Punyas, eh? Well, meet uh, Kalosu. He is the chief of the Yalumas, and he and his brothers have come to do business with me. Not talk business in front of strangers. Who are you? I have just told you our names. Why you come our country? I do not like your unfriendly attitude, Kalosu. And I feel no need to tell you why we've come here. Now, just a minute, folks. Just a minute. There's no sense in having hard feelings. Sit down, Kalusu. I was just going to bring out a little smoked meat. Maybe Kalusu we... not break bread with strangers. Me go now. Come back other time. No, we will leave. Mr. Morgan, you have been kind to us, and I will not remain here and spoil your chances of conducting business. Nonsense. Kalusu, these are my friends. If you can't be civil to them, be on your way. Me be on way, but they be sorry come to land of Kiwanavisi. Lake of blood not like strangers, and this land of Kiwanavisi. Well, despite the warning of Caluso, the past few days have passed quite uneventfully. Hmm. This is a peaceful land for the most part. And so far as the legend of the Lake of Blood goes, well, I don't know. The best thing to do is just steer clear of the district and let well enough alone. Not Tiso, steer clear. We go home now, Tarzan. Torgo's leg better. Is the herd all gone, Torgo? All gone. Torgo's strong now. Can hunt elephants and hip... 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 Elephants and hippos. <laughs> Good. Natisa, I'm sure I can trust you to deliver Torgo safely to Mama Nagama. Where you go? I've got to know more about this fabled lake of blood. No, no. Tarzan not go near Kiwa Navisi. I wouldn't advise mixing in that, Tarzan. It's land of demons. Well, there is something strange about a land where animals will not travel and water where fish will not swim, but I do not believe in demons. Is many demons. Bad demons come at night. Kill those who see not believe in demons. Torgo, I'm ashamed of you. After all the time I've spent teaching you the ways of the jungle and the ways of civilization. My words have been wasted. You might just as well be as stupid as a savage without one speck of schooling. But Tarzan, everyone knows demons. I say there are no demons. They live only in the superstition of your people. They bring fear, and fear leads a people to unhappiness and destruction. Makes them a prey to all those who wave a big stick. It's fear that permits bullies to rule countries. Torgo, I will not have you believe in demons. Torgo cannot help. He knows our demons. Natisa, you will return to the land of the Punyas so that Mama Nagama will know that Torgo is all right, that he's with Tarzan. Torgo and I are going to disprove the demons that rule Kiwanavisi. We shall go to the lake. You mean and... you'd take the boy into that district from which no one has returned? No, Tarzan, not go. Not take Torgo. We shall return. Will you go by my side, Torgo? Torgo, go anywhere Tarzan's safe. Good. Tarzan... I understand your motive, but I think you're making a bad mistake, perhaps a fatal one. In just a moment, the exciting conclusion of our story. That night, Natisa left for the Punya country. Mama Nagama would be told that Torgo was safe for the moment. And the next morning, Tarzan and the small native boy headed for the land of the Blood Red Lake, the small body of water where no living thing could subsist. And yet the bright rays of the sun filtering down through the overhead jungle growth seemed to belie the sinister legend of the district. 
You see, Torco? This land is no different from your own. We near Lake? I've never been to it, so I'm not sure, but I... Why we stop? I heard the snapping of a twig far off. Is animal or man? I've caught no scent yet. Oh, we shall see. We grab vines, bring to upper level? Perhaps. Let's be still just a moment. The sound was caused by men, several of them, and they follow us. All right, Torgo, jump onto my back and hold tightly. We'll swing up into the trees. They're holding tight. Much tight. Torgo, strong. There. Boss, where we stop? Tracks of white jungle man and boy end here. Where they go? Kalusu not know, but we find. Kalusu tell them leave land of Kiwanavisi. Must find. They use trick, so not leave trail. We find. They not grow wings and fly. <laughs> that sound like boy. His laugh of boy came from tree. Yes. It came from the tree. <laughs> oh, I have knocked all your weapons from your hands. If one of you makes a move, I shall run my knife through you. We not move. You can come down from the tree now, Torgo. Tarzan win fight from many bad men? Yes, only these are not ordinary men, Torgo. These are the demons of the lake. No, no, we not demons. We men of Yaluma try. Yes, I know, and you are its chief. A chief who guards his land so jealously, he tries to scare strangers away. When they refuse to be frightened, he stalks them as though they were animals to furnish food. Now the mystery of your lake is quite clear. It contains gold, and you have built up this legend to protect it. Oh, no, 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 quiet. Let me tell. Tarzan, believe, Kalusu. We follow you to stop before you reach Kiwa Navisi. Already too many die at hand, evil spirit. His black mark on people of Yaluma. This their land, not land of death, until time of Kalusu's father. Now is land of demons. Only want to warn you, so you leave with life. Perhaps I have misjudged you. I shall withhold judgment until I've seen this lake for myself. Where is it? Beyond big rock you see from here. North from there to trail white rocks, then over small ridge. But please, Tarzan, not go. You need have no worry on my account, Kalusu. Torgo and I shall return. We shall meet you and tell you what we have found at the trading post of old Chris Morgan. We will be there before Cuta the sun climbs in the heaven again. Now Tarzan knew the exact location of the lake. Torgo and he pressed on through the lush foliage that sheltered not even a single animal. Along the trail that was marked by the white rocks, up the side of the small ridge that the native chieftain had described. And when they had reached the top of the ridge, they stopped abruptly, and their jaws hung loose in wonderment. It is red. The lake is the color of blood. And like they say, has many dead butterflies, insects floating at edge. Come, let's go down to the edge of the lake and find out more about it. Oh, watch out for the loose rocks. They're big rocks, all painted white. Well, they're not painted white, and yet it's hard to explain their white coating. It's a funny place. The strangest place in the entire jungle, I think. Like a giant inkwell hollowed out of the rocks in the well filled with red ink. Is ink? No, it's not ink, Torgo, but we'll see what it is now. Tarzan, you go into late. I'm just waiting in a step or two. Now, now look at this, Torgo. You see the water I've scooped up in my hands? It's not red. It's not even slightly pink. Watch now. Tarzan holds slimy mud. He's red. <laughs> very red and very slimy. Some of it you'll see floating on top of the water, and the rest of it floats just under the surface. What is? Well, it's a little hard to explain. Scientists call it viscous matter, and although it looks like congealed blood, it's not. It's quite harmless. But that answers only the question of the lake's color. Wait, uh... Tarzan, what makes lakes smell like sea? This. It's almost pure crystallized salt. And the lake itself is of strong salt brine, so strong that even fish cannot live in it, nor butterflies and insects hover over its surface. What of animals? They like salt. Yes, they do. So we have other questions to answer yet. Torgo, watch out! You two up! We be killed! Our only hope is in the lake. Hold your breath, Torgo! That was a narrow 
skin. I'll go wet and sticky. Swallow some strong salt water. It won't, won't hurt you any. Those rocks might have... What make rocks fall? I saw no one. The strong odor of the brine prevented me from catching a scent, but I think we're getting closer to the solution of our mystery, Togo. Climb on my back. We, we must move quickly now. It's smaller Giacula. Yes, I see the path. I think I know where it leads. Is Luma the lion? Is dead? Very dead. Yet there are no signs of a bullet wound or the mark of an arrow. Look, ants dead too. They came to feed on the carcass of Numa, and the poison that killed him also killed them. No creature has been too small or too unimportant to escape the villainy of him who controls the lake of blood. <laughs> near store old Chris Morgan. Yes. Togo, I'm proud of you. You're becoming very observant. As you know by now, this this can mean the difference between life and death in the jungle. Torgo observed something else. Candorinia and clearing. Yes, a large kettle. Far too large for ordinary cooking. Torgo, we're within earshot of the trading post now, and although I hardly think we're expected, it would be wise to hold our tongues and move quietly. Torgo, quiet as Lana the mosquito. Good. We'll walk over to the window of the trading post. Why, you know your old friend Chris Morgan wouldn't take advantage of you, Calusu. We bring many hides this time. <laughs> All right, Calusu. I'll throw in an extra sack of salt. Good. Old Chris Morgan, fine friend, black man. I try to be. Are uh, the rest of you happy with the way I've treated you? Make good trade. Well, that's good. I'll help you pack up the bags of salt, and then I'll... I will not conclude your business arrangements, uh, Mr. Morgan, yet, Caluso. Tarzan. I thought... You thought Torgo and I had been killed by the avalanche you started. Tarzan wrong. Old Chris Morgan, good man. He not try kill Tarzan and small boy. Why, of course not. It's ridiculous. Tell me one thing, Caluso. Where does Mr. Morgan get all the salt he trades to you for the valuable skins of animals? Me not know. Bring from city? Could he transport hundreds and hundreds of pounds of salt on his yearly trip? No. The salt is distilled in the large kettle he keeps in the clearing behind his store. Huh? The brine comes from the lake of blood. What are you talking about? From lake? For over 40 years, he has preyed on your superstition. That's a lot of nonsense. The natural color of the lake helped. The ghostly effect of the salt-whitened rocks about it. The fact that the strong brine killed fish and, and butterflies. Don't believe him. It's a lie. He, he helped make you think the place was taboo. By poisoning all living things who entered the district. So... Many things clear now. Unfortunately, none of you will live to spread this story. Look out! We hold Chris Morgan, Tarzan. You hurt, Tarzan? Oh. No, it's just a, a surface scratch, Targo, but had it been a fraction of an inch closer. Uh, for over 40 years, I've, I've gotten away with this, Tarzan. If you hadn't come along, I... If I'd... I hadn't come along, you would have continued to kill all who trespassed upon your land. Uh... But now the natives will have the salt they need, and that nature has provided them. Uh, Morgan, we kill you. No, we no, kill you. no, 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 don't That's kill me. I... Stop! I... You will not take the law into your own hands. I will take him to the authorities. Tarzan, bleed bad. <laughs> don't worry about me, Togo. I'm quite all right. And I'm happy that we have solved the riddle of Kiwanabisi. Tarzan, someday curiosity gets you in real trouble. In just a moment, a preview of our next exciting episode of Tarzan. Missionaries have tried to bring light to the dark continent. But just when we begin to believe the jungle people have changed, we hear the voodoo drums and the incantations of the witch men. We see a pin stuck through a voodoo figure, and we recognize it as the sign of death. For pagan savagery still exists, 
and Congo magic still casts its spell. Tarzan, the creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced and transcribed by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by Bud Lesser, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> 